five, a family claims their son, who's autistic, died following a confrontation with Bojangles workers and also police. The family attorney says 19-year-old Anthony Mitchell died 10 minutes after his mother brought him home from the Fulton County restaurant. And Jennifer Bellamy is now following the allegations. Jennifer, the family's account varies from what police are telling us so far. Big difference. There certainly is a big difference here, Jeff. Mitchell's family says he went to the Bojangles on Fulton Industrial Boulevard earlier this month to get some food. And at some point, though, they say he was attacked by employees who threw chairs at him and beat him. The family says when police showed up, they threw Mitchell to the ground, handcuffed him, and then placed some type of cloth over his head and put a knee in his back. They also claim that rescuers who responded did not provide Mitchell with any medical treatment. But there's a lot of people that needs to know that there are people out here that are not just irate customers are upset. They have medical conditions that put them in situations that they cannot control. Now, police report paints a very different picture of what happened on that day. The report says the Bojangles manager told police that Mitchell's card was declined when he tried to pay for his meal. The manager says he knew Mitchell had a disability and gave him the food for free. But Mitchell came back and asked for more. When his card was denied again, the manager says he asked Mitchell to leave, but Mitchell reportedly got angry and hopped over the counter. The manager told police he tried to defend himself and other workers helped to get Mitchell out of the restaurant. Now, according to police, when officers arrived there, they found Mitchell sitting on the ground, blocking employees from leaving. They say he spit blood on officers and struggled with them when they tried to handcuff him. The report also says when first responders arrived at the Bojangles restaurant, Mitchell's mother said he didn't need medical attention and that she was an EMT and would get him help if needed. Now, the Fulton County Medical Examiner says Mitchell's cause of death is still under investigation, but his family says police never should have treated their son like that and that officers need more training for how to handle people with autism.